Batters bat since Tuesday. It's the first postseason matchup of 200 game winners since 1978 in the World Series. Chipper Jones, top of the first, off Matt Williams. Matty knocks it down, can't make the play. A two out knock for Chipper. Next batter, Brian Jordan. Johnson gets Jordan to pop up and be a home run if they were playing on a silo. They're not, they're playing it. Bob, we got out number three. Home half of the first then. Greg Maddox, he's on the bump. Luis Gonzalez. Gonzo, that gets under the glove of Marcus Giles. Craig Council goes to third. He was the hero of game three of the LDS. Next comes Reggie Sanders. Reggie Sanders batting six for 16, make it seven for 17. Right back through the middle. Council will score. A little bingo there. One zip in favor of the little Diamondbacks. Next batter, Mark Grace and Maddox. Now he's won 11 gold gloves, and here he starts the 1 6 3. So Grace, get in the house right now. That inning is over. Top second, Johnson heating up, and we mean it. Andrew Jones, 96 mile an hour. Jeez, Ray Sanchez, 88 miles an hour in the dirt. Then Julio Franco going to make the guys play defense. And Tony Womack getting on up. Next batter, Chipper Jones. Jones, six career homers, not on that one he missed. Top five, Andrew Jones missed again. 11 in a row retired for Johnson. Bottom five, Council having a big day against Maddox. Council going to give it a ride. Andrew Jones is out there in center, and if Andrew Jones can't get to it, it's a base hit. Council two for four. He scored both Diamondback runs. Gonzo would single to send him in. It would be 2-0 Arizona. Now we're going to flash back in the sixth. Earlier in the game, first batter, it's Marcus Giles. You saw him make the air in here. It's the unit making a mistake. Got too much of the plate there. Giles sends it deep, but Reggie Sanders at the warning track hauls it in. So we go back to the sixth now. Giles again at the dish. And again, the unit threw him a fat one, and he got a lot of it. Sanders is back at the wall, and this time he's going to have to give a little more effort, a little hop. He's got it. But Johnson says to his catcher, Damian Miller, do not call that pitch again. I'm not throwing it. Call that one. Brian Jordan goes down 19 in a row. Top eight, and 0 oh for 3. 3 Ks for Andrew Jones. 20 straight batters retired by Johnson. Next guy in the eighth. Bernard Gilkey, first base runner since the first inning for the Braves. The only walk, but he gets Javi Lopez, who was activated for the series. And then Franco, still 2 0. That's a base hit. Little rally getting started, maybe. Second hit given up by Johnson. Jason Marquis will come in to pinch run. Bob Brenly warms up Young Young Kim, but the first rookie manager in LCS. And Cito Gaston, 89, stays with his horse. And Chipper with a two out knock. Marquis on the move, gets the third. Chipper finishes two for four, and still no Young Young Kim. Staying with Johnson. He earned the chance to close it out. Two outs, Brian Jordan. The tying run is on first, and Jordan misses on a slide. Johnson, 11 Ks, a three hitter. The D-backs win a two nothing. Johnson, postcard in Arizona. Uh, sorry, I didn't bring my bathing suit. Tom Glavin, 4 and 8 lifetime in the LCS, his record 14th LCS start. First pitch by Miguel Batista to Marcus Giles. Wow. Giles becoming the seventh player to lead off an LCS game with a home run. He almost hit two out against Randy Johnson Tuesday night, 1 nothing Atlanta. Next batter, Julio Franco. Franco off of Batista, don't tell me. Oh, boy. Reggie Sanders is there, nearly back-to-back -back jacks. Bobby Cox thought it was gone. Bottom two, Glavin faces Batista with the bags full. Got it. That ends the inning. Bottom three, Glavin cruising along on the mound, facing the always dangerous Luis Gonzalez. But Gonzo, so far in this series, not so dangerous. One for eight over the first two games. That ends the inning. Bottom five now. Got a man on third. Glavin facing Craig Council, who scored both of the D-backs runs on Tuesday. Nice play by Sir Hoff. Council 0 for 4 on this day. Still 1-0 in top six. Chipper Jones facing Batista. On the ground, Jay Bell. Diving stop. Going to Gracie at first for the out. Batista had not allowed a hit since the homer to Giles. Bottom six now. Glavin facing Sanders. Two out, full count. Glavin. Ooh, the umpire, Jeff Kellogg, says that's a ball and a two-out walk. But take another look. I mean, this thing was close. And you can imagine... Glavin still hates the call, doesn't agree with Kellogg's call, and Leo Mazzoni hates it too, but you already knew that. Next batter, Steve Finley with the D-backs take advantage. Little fundamental baseball. Finley moving the runner over to third as Sanders goes that way as he hustles there. So we have men on the corners, two out. Next batter, Matt Williams, his bat coming alive of late. Williams, one of his two hits in this game. Sanders would score. 
to tie the game at one. Manager Bob Brenly likes it. The walk ends up costing Glavin. And after the inning, Tom would take out his frustration on a wooden bench. Top of the seven still tied. Batista facing Andrew Jones with two out. And he walks Jones on four pitches. A two-out walk. Next batter, Javi Lopez makes some pay. Opposite way. The eighth career postseason home run for Lopez. Only Johnny Bench and Yogi Berra have more among catchers. Three to one Atlanta. Money shot by Javi. Top of the eighth, Mike Morgan in facing Brian Jordan. Jordan connects. One for four, two RBI. Franco and Chipper Jones would score to make it 5-1 Atlanta. Atlanta pounded out eight hits in this game, and Brenly said, what happened to that close game we once had? It's gone now. Where's the relief, please? Next batter, Surhoff, as in BJ, against Greg Swindell. BJ Surhoff, his fourth career postseason home run. He's first since 1996. And Atlanta, rushing the D-backs, 8-1. For the Braves, a huge win to even the series, considering they have to face Kurt Schilling in game three. For it's top three, no score. Craig Council, the ground ball. Remember, kids, communication, the key to any good relationship. Julio Franco and Burkett have none. Infield single for Council. He was three for four. Same inning, two outs. Matty Williams on a 3-2 pitch. Oh, call ball four. Burkett wanted to ring him up. Take another look. You make the call. Strike, ball. Well, it's ball four. Take your base. Bobby Cox says that's going to come back to bite us. And you know what? It does. Next batter, Steve Finley into the left field corner. Council in. Williams in. Finley, two for three. Three RBI. He'll be tagged out by Chipper Jones, but the damage is done. Demon Diamondbacks on top. Two nothing. Burkett saying, I wish I was bowling. Bottom three, Schilling in complete command. Facing Javi Lopez, waving. Lopez 0 for 2. Next batter, Ray Sanchez. You get nothing. Two outs. And then the pitcher, that's just not fair. High heat to Burkett. Schilling, no hits allowed through three. Top five. Oh, the pitcher helping himself. Schilling, base knock to right field. He was one for four in the game. Next batter, Tony Womack. Got to move the runner over. Got to get the bunt down. He does. Check out the arrow. Marcus Giles is slow covering first base, so Womack beats it out. Burkett cannot believe it. After an intentional walk to Luis Gonzalez, Burkett is lifted four and two thirds innings, shortest outing since April 7th. So Steve Reed comes in, Matt Williams, high chopper, chipper, bare hands, throws. Oh, the ball gets away from Lopez. Schilling in, Womack in, 4-1 Arizona. Take another look, the Braves not fundamentally sound. Lopez, perhaps affected by the runner, bearing down on him, does not make the play to run score. Bottom five, Braves down 5-1. Andrew Jones to the hole. Look at Womack. From the outfield, Grass gets his man. Andrew was 0 for 3. Bottom six we go. Same score, two on, two out. Schilling, chipper, high heat. Braves do not score in the inning. Bottom nine, two outs. B.J. Surhoff, the last gasp for the Braves. Forget it. 12 strikeouts in a complete game win for Schilling. He is fired up. The D-backs take it 5-1 and take a 2-1 series lead. In four games, at Turner Field this season. Arizona has outscored the Braves 24 to 3. Schilling becomes the first pitcher with three straight complete games in a single postseason since Oral Hershiser in 1988 and the first guy with four straight complete games over multiple postseasons since Bob Gibson had eight from 64 to 68. And the Braves looking to even the NLCS but Maddox up 2-0 in the third running into trouble. First batter of the inning Tony Womack. Chipper. Ugh. But Womack would be thrown out trying to steal. Next batter, it's the sizzling Craig Council. Great chance. Sanchez, his throw issues Atlanta's second error of the inning. Two batters later, they're on the corners for Reggie Sanders. Maddox should have started the DP by wheeling around. Instead, he's got Council hung up. Chipper's not home at third, and everybody's safe. Maddox said afterward, I didn't throw it where I should have. Take a look. Jones breaks to his left after the ball. Maddox got nobody to go to at third, but he should have gone to second to start the double play anyway. Everybody's safe. Next batter, it's Steve Finley. This is off Maddox's 11-time gold glove. Runs it down, coming home, away from Paul Bacco. Two runs come in. We're tied at two. The Braves, the first team in the 33-year history of the NLCS to make three errors in one inning. Bobby Cox, thank you. Next batter, Matt Williams. 
Now the Diamondbacks really start making it pay off. A single to left, scores Sanders, Finley into third, 3-2 Arizona. Mark Grace next up. He knocks it into left. Finley comes in. Grace's first postseason RBI, 4-2 D-backs. Top four, second and third, now Council. We said he was sizzling. Down the left field line, David Delucci and Womack score 6-2 Diamondbacks. Maddox done after allowing six runs, four earned in three-plus. The shortest postseason outing of Greg Maddox's brilliant career. Bottom eight, 7-3 Arizona bases loaded. Young Hyun Kim gets Javi Lopez to ground into a huge double play. Yes, Andrew Jones scores, but the Braves are down 7-4. Marcus Giles, line drive to Matt Williams, and Kim comes up big in line for his first save of the series. Top nine, Luis Gonzalez, third career postseason home run in his second this year, 11 to four, Diamondbacks. It has fallen apart for the Braves. Bottom nine, Brian Jordan, Danny Batista, full extension. A little miscommunication out there, but he sticks the landing, and the Diamondbacks take a 3-1 series lead. They will try to close out the series with the big unit going in Sunday night's Game 5. I have to get by Bobby Cox and company. Randy Johnson trying to win a second consecutive playoff game. Danny Bautista got the start and center over Steve Finley. Bob Brenly said he just had a hunch that Bautista would get something done. Mark Grace will come around to score in the fourth with two on and one out for Bautista. Bob Brenly pushing the right buttons after a wild pitch and a walk by Tom Glavin. Glavin against Randy Johnson. A little number with the bases loaded. Glavin charges, gets the force out to Javi Lopez. Two outs. Next batter, Tony Womack. Liner to left field. Bernard Gilkey is there. Glavin gets out of the inning without any further damage. Bottom four. Braves still down one nothing. Julio Franco sitting dead red. At age 40, the fourth oldest to Homer in an NLCS game. Game tied at one. Top five. Still tied. Nobody out. Craig Council. Member of that world champion Marlin team in 97. You can't teach hustle. Council is safe on the error by Giles. Three batters later, two outs, a runner at first, a Rubio Durazo pinch hitting for Mark Grace. Five pinch hit home runs during the regular season, and he has just given the Diamondbacks a 3-1 lead. Bottom five, break down 3-1, one out, two minute board, Mark DeRosa pinch hitting. Danny Bautista didn't make an error in 61 games this season. Two batters later, Julio Franco, bases loaded. Council from Womack, and Johnson gets out of the inning. Bottom seven, Braves down 3-1, two outs. Runner at first, Johnson walks Giles, first walk of the game. Next batter is Julio Franco, sitting dead red again. Takes the fastball back to the box. Sanchez scores, Braves within one. Next batter, Chipper Jones. Nobody has hit more home runs off the unit than Chipper. Didn't get a chance, he's walked. Next batter is Brian Jordan. Unit's biggest pitch of the night, and he gets him. 118th pitch, seven innings, seven hits. Byung Young Kim. Brave down 3-2, two, two outs. Julio Franco in the bottom of the ninth, and Steve Finley brings in the final out. The Braves, 10th straight trip to the postseason, ninth time they've watched somebody else celebrate. Unit and Schilling, a big reason why this team is headed to the World Series. Diamondbacks win four games to one. Craig Council, the NLCS MVP, went eight for 21 with five runs scored four RBIs in the series. Arizona went a perfect 6-0 at Turner Field this season, including the regular season. As for Randy Johnson, he's now won back-to-back postseason starts after losing a major league record seven in a row. I really enjoy the moment. I mean, I'm going, <laughs> we're going to the World Series. You know, I'm, I've never been to the World Series and at any level of my career, whether it was you know, Little League or any of that. You feel blessed to be in this position again. And, uh, you know, the MVP, that's just, uh, that's just something extra. I mean, I I'm, th I'm thrilled to be going to the World Series. That's, that's, that's number one, no doubt about it. You know, it's easy for things to turn out well when no matter who you send out there does something good to help you win a ball game. It certainly doesn't make me a genius or anything like that. It makes my players very good. Um, I don't know how else to explain it. I refuse to take any credit for what's happened with this ball club this year. They've done it all themselves. I think they've got a great chance. I think they've got outstanding, two of the most outstanding back-to-back -back starters you could ever want. And they've got better hitting than they showed here, too.
Diamondbacks in just their fourth season become the quickest expansion team ever to reach the World Series. The Marlins previously held the mark, winning the title in 97. 69 Mets are third on the list, reaching the Fall Classic in just their eighth year of existence. More on this series later in the program.